Hey guys, welcome back to Build It With Smith. I'm your host Smith, and I'm about to collect my daily sim cash. Um, if you're not familiar with that, uh, what I do is every month I put about twenty dollars into the game, and I purchase this kind of package deal where they start you off, they give you six hundred and fifty sim cash, and then every day. For the next 30 days, you can collect $50 sim cash. So that's what I was just doing there. Um, and it really keeps my city thriving. As you can see, I have the university specialization working here. And I'm just going to be placing some more uh, residential buildings. I want to build kind of like a neighborhood right outside the college town. Small college town, Tuesday University. Um, the idea here is uh, I want to I don't want to upgrade these houses here to like skyscrapers I want to keep them at apartments and residential homes so that's what we're gonna do here I'm gonna kind of get this place established and we'll check back in and see where we're at and we're back um, haven't done much just really been trying to forge some uh, items needed to upgrade here so I've got the factories working you know for me I uh, find it helpful to always keep some wood uh, in the inventory I always keep some seeds plastic uh, especially when I'm active in the game because you know those nine minutes that it takes to make plastic if you don't have it it really kind of makes a, a drag so I usually try to keep a lot of those things available now what I'm doing now is uh, I'm choosing well I want to only upgrade the buildings that I want to upgrade and uh, you have the ability if you click on the hard hat to click that that X kind of thing and it will upgrade another building so I kind of have to rely on the game to cycle through all the buildings that's available for upgrades um, until it gets to the building I want to upgrade. And so here, this, this is what I want to do. Uh, I want to make a row of apartments here, right across from the uh, kind of town center district that I have here with these stores. So that's going to be the idea for this here area right there. Mm -hmm. uh, so um, I guess it's time to kind of put some roads here so I can have another row of buildings and uh, I think I want to go this direction with the roads instead of just closing up that gap there all right so well hmm I guess I need to figure out do I want one two do I want do I want six buildings here? A, six, a row of six buildings, two rows of six, which will make 12 buildings, or do I just want five buildings to make 10 apartments after they're upgraded? What do you think, guy, there? You have an input? He doesn't have anything. All right, well, um, You know, I think I think I'm gonna move if I can. I think I'm gonna move. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna just have ten here, guys. And what I'm gonna do with this other area next to the road is, I knew I bought these for a particular reason. Oh, I, I want to if I can get to them. I want to get to these uh, pine tree forests, small pine forests. I want to have. Uh, rows of those there. It uh, actually reminds me of, uh, uh, I used to live in the Houston area and there's a suburb called the Woodlands and it's just like it sounds. It's, it's um, a kind of like a upper suburb, but the whole theme of the, it's not a city, or maybe it is a city, but the small uh, you know, the place is they have a lot of trees everywhere, like these tall pine trees here. And they line the roadways and all your businesses and stuff are behind the trees. So you may be driving up the road thinking that you're just on a, like a, 
not a country road, but you know, in other words, you don't really see the businesses because they're the, they're behind all the pine trees, just like this establishment that I have here. Uh, so I think I'm gonna do that for this area. And now we need to put a bunch of things in production. Now, I can always find some sugar, at least at the, or what is this, sugar and spices. Sugar and spices. Uh, always readily, oh, more sugar and spices. Readily available at level 35, I guess. Um, so, I typically don't need to craft those or uh, produce those in the factories because I can always find them in the uh, trade depot. Uh, but anyway, um, I got some things uh, in the stores, so... Alright guys, I just logged back in and looks like I got a lot of things waiting for me to pick up at the store. So as I go down the road here, picking up hammers and nails and other things. Oh, and we need glass. Uh, glass is typically one of those other things that I can find at the... Oh, there it is. So, and glass takes, what, five hours? I think sugar and spices does too, so uh, I don't waste time trying to make, build those, you know. So we're ready for an upgrade here. Oh, yeah, I added this park. Um... I'll show y'all in a second here. All right. I thought I was going to be able to uh, upgrade some more buildings by now. All that stuff I just got out of the out of the factories, but I guess not. All right. Yeah, I, I put this Royal Garden, which is a huge, huge park there. It's like... It's like a, what is a building, like two by two, so that's like four by four. It's a huge, huge park. Maybe too huge for this area. All right, now things are rolling. Now I am getting some upgrades done. So that's good. Got some little trailer parts here, or, yeah, that's what those are. All right, but remember, the plan is to get several of those apartments. So far, I've got one, so I guess we'll just keep upgrading here. Um, man, I think we need more buildings. I think that'll help. The more buildings we have, the more chance uh, that we have of having items that are needed to upgrade already in our inventory because uh, our city storage is almost pretty full and we don't want to get to that place so let's see what we're about to do with the infrastructure here and then we will move on and I need a uh, what is that chemicals I need some chemicals I need seeds Okay, looks like I can do an upgrade based off of what I have here. I thought I could. Oh. Alright, so let's just go ahead and put another upgrade into motion. All right, so, uh, you know, the buildings that get these apartments, and they're actually premium buildings. Uh, the apartments are the premium buildings. You know how there's the yellow, and then there's the gold color when you do your upgrades, and then there's the orange. These are the gold color buildings. Now, those right there are the orange colored buildings, if this makes sense. Uh, they're the luxury buildings and we're back uh, some time has passed and as you can see I've been 
putting in a lot of work here. So we've really established this whole area. I got two apartments, so we're not very far in that respect, but I do have a lot more buildings to work with. But you know what? Um, I think that this royal garden is a bit too big, so we're gonna store that. And I would think I wanna just go with a regular sized park, like a two by two here. If I could, just gotta find the right one. Now that's the Omega Park, so that may not really be very fitting for this area. We got the Jogging Park. I wanna find something that's maybe 40% population boost, uh, cause the Royal Garden was getting me a 50% population boost, so that's, that's good actually, but, um, if I can find something else that's maybe 40%, then it wouldn't be that bad. The geometric sculptures, that's uh, kind of nice. I don't know, again, if that's fitting for this residences here. You know, we may go way back. Uh, one of the first things I got when I started playing the game was the Deluxe Plumbob Park, and you get 35% 30 uh, boost with that. Um, I don't know. I mean, what do you guys think? Is it kind of weird to have a huge Plumbob uh, actually taller than the houses just floating out there, or is that kind of the point? I don't know. Well, I think this will just be a placeholder for now. And we'll go ahead and kind of uh, skinny up this road area here. And uh, so that we can put some more buildings in. We can fit, actually, if we delete these roads. We can fit how many? Um... Well, let's complete that. We can fit one, two, three, four. Well, uh, I want to try to fit some more buildings in, maybe a couple if I could, and they are outside of the coverage area. So I have these small um, health clinic and police station and fire station here. And this may be a home for those guys, because otherwise I don't know what I'm going to do with them. They kind of don't have a purpose right, right now, but now they do. So um, I'm going to go ahead and build this area uh, up off camera. So in the next video, I will check in and give you guys a tour of the finished product. Now, if you've been watching and uh, you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and click the bell so that you'll be notified personally when I upload another video. And other than that, I love the comments. So comment, what do you think of this layout here? Is it working, guys? Do you have any suggestions? Um, and uh, like the video, share it with your friends. Um, and come back later. Check out the next video. See what else we have going on here. Thanks for watching.